Okay, good morning everyone. So I'm going to discuss the electronic workbench. So how to simulate the logic kit using electronic workbench. So as you can see this is our workspace. So if you want to look for the logic kit nothing, this is the logic kit tab where you can find um schematic of a logic kit. So say for example if you drag or git so we know the two table of an or git so if either of these input has one the output is equal to one but if the input are both zero the output is equal to zero so if we want to test that one so we need the supply voltage and the ground so we you can find those items or symbols here on the process we have the ground or we have the supply so bdd is our positive supply meaning this is r1 the ground is our zero okay. so in order to know whether an output of is either one or zero we need indicator red probe uh, no so just to take this one And then we need two switches in order to switch both this, this input, you know, either one or zero. So the wrong switch, you know, so this is the switch. So we need two. So as you can see, we have space, you know, where it means that if you press the space, the the switch will switch its state either uh, up or down but in order to change this keyboard settings so you just use the component so let's name this one let's use letter a since this is input a and let's use led since this is input b so if you press a it will stay it will change its state and if you press b it will change its state so let's go through state this one state so a will be connected to input a here b will be connected here okay. and this will be equal to 1 and this will be equal to 0 the same this is 1 this will be equal to 0 then this is our output so in order to run the simulation you have to turn the switch on oh, this is on this is off you have to turn it on and then since this is an OR gate uh, either of the input has a state of one so the output will be always equal to one likewise if a and b are both zero output will be equal to zero so if a b is equal to zero and a is equal to zero output is equal to zero so just that one. you can also change the uh, you, you have to turn for you edit the schematic you have to turn off the simulation set delete this one change this one to about x or In XOR, if the of both inputs are the same, for example, one one and zero zero, the output is equal to. Since this is not a bubble, so this is just an XOR. Ah, by the way, it is NOR rather, it's not XOR. Ah, let's use X XOR. Now oh, let's delete this one. The wrong logic kit. Ah, this one, this one. Wrong logic kit. So this is the XOR. And then you have to run the simulation. So if 
for both inputs are the same, the output is equal to 0. But likewise, if uh, they are not the same, output is equal to 1. No? So this is 1, 0, or you can also take 0, 1, but if the inputs are the same, in state, 1 and 1, the output is equal to 0. You can also do the combinational logic boolean function so atin siyang function like that you can also do the multiple output atin na yun in case so so this one how about let's add another switch and it will be let's just see so this is one zero uh, and it will be connected here no no i'm just making and then you have to turn on, so as you can see, we have now a boolean function. So, I, so this, you know, it has a different state, depends on the input, A, B, and C. So since we have three inputs, so we're going to have a maximum possible combination of 7. So 2 to the power of 7 is a to the power of 3 equal to 7 so starting from 0 0 0 summons 1 1 1 so 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 and 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and the last one is 1 1 1 okay. you can come up with a boolean function a two table using this schematic so that all. So you're gonna use this one in your activity. Next activity.